within the past year or so, there have been some major scandals which have resulted in the resignation or stepping down of some significant figures in American evangelicalism. Mike Bickle, Tony Evans, Robert Morris, and now, within the past week or so, Steve Lawson. Guess what? They're not all charismatic. And regardless of some of the particulars, it is very grieving, upsetting, and disappointing to see this. If you're not upset when you hear about some of these things, you should be. And not only am I deeply concerned about how people respond to this, particularly young people, I do wonder, you know, what's happening? What is going on? What is God trying to do through this or communicate to us? You know, two to three years ago, we witnessed the rise of people, particularly younger people, going through a process of deconstruction, going ex-evangelical. Those who were raised in relatively conservative biblical settings, going woke, embracing a hyper-progressive agenda, a very liberal theology, a theology which some of the pastor's names I've just mentioned were seen to significantly condemn because woke has seen many people embrace LGBTQ and uh, some of the other uh, things like from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, and who knows what else uh, is coming. Now, it has been seen that some of the pastors condemning woke and people going through deconstruction have themselves been what? Engrossed in some heterosexual sins. And what does that do to people? When you see young people embrace the far left and you see those on the far right who have been condemning of the far left themselves beset with sinfulness, I think, especially in this season as we anticipate the fall high holidays, a shift of some kind is in process. Is there a reorganization getting ready to take place? Are we barreling toward some kind of a, not only apostasy, but significant contraction of biblical faith? I don't know, but we need to be paying attention to this. We need to be taking a few pointers from this. We need to learn the lessons of others' mistakes and in re Whatever capacity we may be placed to serve for the interests of God's kingdom, we need to not think that we are invincible or invulnerable. Always praying for God's protection, always praying for wisdom and discernment, and for an ability to offer a consoling word to those who are confused, disappointed, and upset.